all right, welcome to Celeb 20 with your girl Tasha Mitchell, of course, the only one magic one princess. Today, I'm joined with this cutest guy in the industry I know, Alan Tonics with me right here. Hi. Hi, Tasha. How are you? I'm so happy to be here. Really? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm so happy that you joined me on my show. How are you doing? I mean, I'm all right. Uh, I came to the, you know, to the station. I've met a couple of fans. Interacted a little bit. Now I'm here with a beautiful woman, so what else can I ask for? I don't know. Anyway, you're rocking so good in black. Is it your best color? Thank you. Uh, I mean, black is a... Yeah, it's one of my favorite colors, actually. Black is sleek. But when I'm talking about black here, you mean those dark-skinned girls? Uh, just... I just mean black in terms, of, in terms of human beings, black means African descent. I understand. By the manual, kasu seri. Okay, what is that thing you really put on and you really feel like you're good to go? Maybe me when I put on a dress, I feel like yeah. Um, I'm comfortable with a lot of stuff. Um, because Alan Tony is going to be defined in very different facets. If you find me in my in my suit, um, I would look dapper in that. Uh, but maybe stuff that I'm comfortable with, like just jump in any time and feel comfortable and free and still swagged out like sweatpants. I like sweatpants and sneakers. Okay, Alan Tonics, talking about your music, who was your first manager and what was your first single? My first single, um, when I started out, at first I really didn't have a manager. I was just, you know, hustling my own way. And that was, uh, my first single was called Better Nange, which I did when I was in my, in my form six. Oh, there's something about you, baby. I don't know what, but there is something about you, baby. There's something about you, baby. I don't know which class I was when, when I first heard that song. Chida can add more pit to. Anyway, all about that. I'm against your songs. What's that song that you really feel? Yeah, I am Alan Tonix. I did that song. To me, it's this jam. She says she wants to be the one to get her to my everything. Give me what I need, how I need it, when I need it. And when she do her body and she knows I'll do anything to get a little bit closer. So we can do a thing, we got all night. We should do it right, we can do it right. My body, I dedicate to her. Nobody can compete with her, my girl. Can you feel me now? Da 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 yeah. The way she do it to me. Da 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 Sometimes when you sing me, I really feel like, oh, well, you don't belong to Uganda. <laughs> First clarify to me, do you, be, do you belong here? And that's the thing, like, I, I just wish, like, our fans could change their percep perception. When I first released that song, I got the same reaction from DJs and they said, but is this a Ugandan song? Um, I have had songs which have gotten that perception. Uh, that girl, um, even my song Romance, when I first released it, people thought, ah, this must be a Nigerian song. It can't be Ugandan. So I feel like Uganda, what we what we are, what what we think we are fake. Or, or like you because why is it that when something is so dope, then they say it can't be Ugandan? No, we're gonna we're also dope. We can be dope. We have to believe in ourselves and support ourselves and know that, you know, because you see that, that you have, they say you have to fake it till we make it. Even if we are not, even if we think we're not dope, we should insist and believe that we're dope and try to. That's uh, some of the discussion we, we were having earlier with some of my friends about how um, some of the people from other parts of Africa, I don't want to mention in particular, they never used to be dope. But they insisted on being dope even when they were not, until such a point that now they are, you know. So I feel like if we should, we should just encourage our artists to experiment, to do that dope music, support it. Don't be like, ah, is this Uganda? No, you know. We'll support it, appreciate it, and you know, the whole industry will grow. And you'll also be proud when you walk out there and you're like, yo, this is from UG. This is fresh. This is dope. That's what I want to feel like. You know? Okay, what accomplishment are you most proud of? A lot of the times. I, I believe I'm one of those artists who has stood the test of time. Um, there are artists that were there before me, and there are artists that came almost at the same time as me. But sometimes you feel, I, I feel like I'm almost like the, the, the last man standing, you know. I think I've stood the test of time. I'm still able to be relevant now as I was when I 
I just started out and I thank God for that. I think that's a blessing and I'm humbled and so appreciative of my fans um, for, you know, supporting me. I understand. Okay, if it wasn't music, how do you think you would have been? Mm. There's so many options. Life could have taken me anywhere. And even at the time I was doing this song, writing it to record it, I was still doing it for fun when we were recording it before release. And I knew I was just doing it for fun as a hobby and I was just going to finish my degree and, you know, get into the working force like any other person. Yeah, but, you know, sometimes they say, when we're making our plans, God is also making his own plans. Here we are. Okay, talking about your new release, that's my niece. Were you dedicating that song to someone? No, oh, you just you, you just came out of the blue and said, let me do this, my miss. I mean, it's art. You know, it's art. My miss had an element of the um, lockdown situation. Um, in lockdown, a lot of people were missing their loved ones. They were not able to be with them. Some people were trapped abroad. Some people were trapped up country away from their children, away from their wives, away from their girlfriends and their boyfriends. And so my miss, must, as much as it was a love song, it was also a song about longing for that person that you love. Uh, but you can't be with them, you can't touch them, you can't hold them, you can't kiss them. So, and so it had, it was a song that was partly inspired by the whole situation of lockdown. Okay, your best female artist and male artist in Uganda? I listen to a lot of music. I wouldn't say I concentrate on like who is the best or who is the... I don't see art in terms of who is the best or the worst. It's not like going to class and doing exams. <laughs> no, I mean I listen to all of them. Any artist whose name comes up, if they say female artists, it's worth, it's worth, you know. Alan Tony, if you are asked to date any Ugandan celebrity, you know, this industry is so big, comedians are celebrities, presenters are celebrities, artists are celebrities, so who would that be? I've never really thought about that. I've never really thought about that. <laughs> you know, dating is... Maybe you can say someone you can really go out on a date with, someone you can really have lunch with, not dating as in I love you, you know that. Yeah, but if it's for having lunch, I've had lunch with so many celebrities. If you're asked, Alan Tonics, come what are we? If I'm asked what? If you're asked to go out with, who would that be? Just eating. I can go out with many, all of them. Maybe I would do Cindy on Tuesday. I'll do Fabiola on Wednesday, I'll do Shiba on Friday, just lunch. Then Sunday, I go with you. Do you wait there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alan Tonics, your last words to your fans out there. Uh, well, I mean, to my fans, like I said, I always appreciate. Um, I have a very, my, my fans are white, you know. I'm sure I have fans who are 60 years and I have fans who are 10 years. Um, Shouts out to one of my biggest fans, Fresh Kid, who's always hollering and texting me. Um, so I have like fans who are so young and, so, and in between. So I'm blessed like that and I appreciate and thank God every day. And I just want to tell my fans to keep supporting. There's a lot of new stuff coming out. Go to my YouTube channel, Alan Tonics. Subscribe and be updated always. Go to my Facebook page at Alan Tonics Music. It's verified with a blue tick. And of course my Twitter and Instagram are also Alan Tonics. Alan Tonics is Double L, Alan Double L, Tonics is IKS. Yeah, and um, yeah, keep supporting the music. Watch out for a lot more coming now that we are hoping and praying that the government is all on Twitter. Yeah, we shall have a lot of new stuff coming. You make me sick, weak and weaker. Rally now, come on, now, It's like you play in my heart, I'm weaker. The chin of Kumuni Galico, it's a Wabulina, you're my future. What the? No, yeah, but I gotta I see no more you my miss you're the only thing I need and they can be illusion of course it has been Alan Tonics with me I'm so happy that I had him today he looks so fresh continue supporting his music he is in the music not yet to go designed by Bash who designed it uh, I designed myself mm -hmm. yeah meaning you can design some I've never thought about it, but maybe. 
Start with me, maybe. Okay, thanks for joining us today. It has been Tasha Michi, the only magic one princess. We love you so much.